start look i need all y'all to go to motherfucking amazon.com and i need y'all to type in lv skinny ass or gas you're gonna find some ass or gas shirts you know what i'm saying this is my first like these are my first actual shirts online i'm about to have hella different clothes and shit you know what i'm saying so if you support a nigga and you know what i'm saying all the shit i'm trying to accomplish support a nigga then but yeah let's get into the video What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, V Skinny. And today, I'm here to check out a video from Did You Know Gaming? And it's featuring Kid Dickerous. All right. And uh, the video game is Tekken. All right. Now, I'm a big fan of Tekken. So, I think this video is going to talk about some stuff like, like niggas may not have known about Tekken. I don't know. I'm excited to see this. Because, you know what I'm saying, um, I'm going to say it the, um, already. My two favorite people was Eddie Gordo and my nigga Howrang, or Howrang, however you say his name. Those are my two niggas right there. And Kazuya. I fuck Kazuya, too. But, you know what I'm saying, let's just get into the motherfucking video. Did you know? In its earlier stages, Tekken wasn't a fighting game or a video game at all. It was originally a project that experimented with 3D character modeling during the early years of polygonal graphics. The idea of adapting it into a fighting game came after Namco hired several former Sega employees who had previously worked on Virtua Fighter. These employees included Saichi Ishii, who served as the lead producer for Tekken 1 and 2 before passing the reins on to Katsuhiro Harada. The team's goal was to make a game similar to Virtua Fighter, but use foot. That's crazy because. Yeah, they both Virtual Fighter came out first, but Virtual Fighter, Fighter, Street Fighter, and Mortal Kombat were all kind of like around in the same. Street Fighter, Tekken, and Mortal Kombat they all kind of kept going. Virtual Fighter died out. There's one thing I can't Bully say. Fully model that. textures and have the game run at twice Virtual Fighter's frame rate. Early promotional material also showed that the project was named Rave War before the name Tekken was chosen. Tekken has long been associated with Sony's PlayStation consoles and didn't appear on competitors' hardware until 2001 with Tekken Advance. According to the series producer Katsuhiro Harada, this was due to similarities between the original PlayStation hardware and the arcade cabinets Tekken was built for. Harada also told Polygon that Namco only brought the series to non Sony platforms when the demand was high enough. Some of the stranger mini-games in the Tekken series began as off-the-wall ideas from the developers. In an interview with Silicon Era, Harada mentioned that Tekken Force, first introduced in Tekken 3, came from a simple side idea, stating, We wanted to have Tekken characters side-scroll through stages and pick up meat to replenish mm. health. At the beginning, that's what we wanted to that's do. That's like, uh, I think it was like Streets of Rage or them type of games, so I feel like they... So I feel like Tekken really was just copying niggas like shit, like, man, them niggas doing this, let's do it too, fuck it, we're Tekken. Silly and it's hard to see the purpose, but I really wanted to do that. Tekken Ball, which was also introduced in Tekken 3, was originally designed as a simulation to help practice air juggling. Harada mm. stated, the original idea was to hit the ball and juggle it to a basket, sort of like basketball. It didn't go how I imagined and I was kind of frustrated. If it's not going to be good, I thought I should make it into a versus game. The mini game had to be developed by a small team of three, including Harada himself, so that the other staff could continue working on the main game. The development of Tekken Ball led Harada to experiment with similar mini game ideas, including a pinball mini game. He ultimately believed a ball mini game where players took turns felt that. more appropriate leading to the addition of Tekken Bowl in Tekken Tag Tournament. Tekken 3's hell, arcade release contains a trio of unused characters in the game's data. This includes two new characters named Sake and Insect and Tekken 2's June Kazuma. When asked about Sake, Harada stated that he had the idea of making a playable salmon that could only splash around helplessly while making flapping noises. Because that. it cost 100 yen, about a dollar, for each player at the arcade, Sake was cut. Namco didn't want players to feel cheated out of their money by playing as a character that couldn't fight at all. Insect, on the other hand, was the result of- I go, This video bored as hell. 
Might as well right now. This shit is boring as hell. But yeah, we're gonna keep it going. The bug in the game's coding. According to Harad, the bug made characters' arms, legs, and waist shrink to thin sizes, making them resemble a praying mantis. Development on Insect was quickly dropped, however, due to the large amount of resources being used to make the other new characters. One of Tekken 3's endings was censored for the European and American versions of the game. In the original Japanese version of Tekken 3, Nina Williams' ending shows she and her sister Anna sunbathing. Several men show up to impress her, and Anna receives most of the attention. Out of jealousy, Nina unhooks Anna's bikini top in front of the men, walking away with a smirk. In the European and American versions, however, Nina's ending was changed to her ignoring the men completely, with Anna walking away with a smile instead. Minor controversy affected the release of Tekken 6 as well. In the South Korean version of Tekken 6, Bloodline Rebellion, Alyssa's design had notable alterations, changing her retractable chainsaws into lightsaber-esque beam swords. This version also removed all instances of Alyssa detaching her head, most likely to comply with the country's strict laws on violent content. Debates arose over Leo Cleason and whether or not the character was male or female. Before the release of Tekken 6, both Bandai Namco and Katsuhiro Harada stated that Leo was designed to be gender neutral as they felt that the roster needed a character players will love regardless of gender. And within the final version of Tekken 6, Leo is referred to with gender neutral terms. Leo's gender was kept secret until a 2011 promotional event held in Cologne, Germany for the movie Tekken Blood Vengeance. During the event, Harada took to the stage and revealed that Leo was female, a fact soon confirmed within subsequent games such as Tekken Tag Tournament 2. All right. The announcement of Tekken 7's new fighters sparked especially mixed reception in the West when Lucky Chloe was revealed, including- I'm not gonna lie. I thought this video was gonna like, show me like some secret like, yeah. Hahachi really wasn't Jin's dad. He was his fucking brother. I don't know, I don't know. I thought they was, I don't know, man. Complaints that the character was a furry vocaloid idol. Harada, in response to the negative Western reaction, took to Twitter, stating, I'll make a muscular and skinhead character for you. Remember, I said we've more new characters and she is one of them, and that Lucky Chloe would be exclusive to the Japanese version. While the statement was intended as a joke, several gaming news outlets reported on Lucky Chloe's exclusivity as fact until Harada confirmed that she was, in fact, in all versions of the game. Harada was particularly careful with another one of Tekken 7's newcomers, the Saudi Arabian fighter mm. Shahid. He intended to include the Arabian character in the Tekken series roster as early as 2009, but wanted to visit the region first to get a better sense of its people and culture. He even took to social media asking for feedback from Middle Eastern fans to help with Shaheen's final design. Shaheen was met with very positive reception, even appearing in regional newspapers such as Al Ayam in Bahrain. This reception led Harada to encourage his close friend and fellow producer Yoshihiro Ono to include a Middle Eastern character in the roster of Street Fighter V, leading to the announcement of Rashid shortly after. The Tekken series is also known for its easter eggs. In Tekken 4's Tekken Force mode, four enemies in the final level are named Anthony, John, Chad, and Flea after members of the American rock band Red Hot Chili Peppers. In Paul Phoenix and Brian Fury's Tekken 3 stage, a piece of graffiti in the background reads Soul Edge. This is a reference to Soul Blade, another 3D fighting game by Namco, originally named Soul Edge in Japan, and the originator of the Soul Calibur series. Tekken 5's Final Frontier stage has an LED monitor in the background that will, on occasion, show a sprite of Pac-Man. Tekken Tag Tournament 2, however, caused slight controversy over one of its stage designs. The Saudi Arabian stage, Modern Oasis, included a floor decoration with the word Allah written in Arabic. This prompted a negative response from Muslim players, since both stepping on God's name and using God's name in an unnecessary manner are both considered highly disrespectful acts in Islam. When players brought the issue to Katsuhiro Harada's attention on Twitter, he formally apologised for the mistake and the Arabic writing was removed in an update. This was not the first time the Tekken series had run into potential controversy, though. Tekken 3 featured a guest fighter named Gon, a fire-breathing dinosaur from a manga series of the same name. Despite the character receiving negative reception at first, he became... I'm not gonna lie. Six minutes ahead. I don't give a damn about any of this information. I just heard. Not one damn. Like, I don't remember any of this shit that was said. If it was some, some interesting shit, you know, I would've really been into it, but... This was more about the owner and what he was doing. I, I don't know. I thought this was going to be a video about, like, did you know this? I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. 
This is finished. Came one of the most requested characters for future titles, most notably Tekken Tag Tournament 2. This led Harada to repeatedly state on Twitter that the character was only allowed in Tekken 3 because of a one-time license and would be very unlikely to make a return appearance. This same license was one of the reasons preventing Tekken 3 from being added to the European PlayStation Store. Tekken 3 and if you'd was like more PlayStation-related facts, check out the Digital ones. Gaming video on Crash Bandicoot. If you like this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. I'm a Kiwi gang switch. I didn't like the video at all. At all, I might give it a dislike. Actually, no, it was some good information. It just wasn't to me, so I'm not gonna give it a dislike. I'm gonna just not like, not do anything. So yeah, um, shout out to the Tekken franchise. Like I said, I fuck with Tekken, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, Tekken and Mortal Kombat was honestly my two favorite. If we want to talk about fighting, what well, we want to talk about animated fighting you know what i'm saying you see how i had to switch it up this the little bracket in between them we want to talk about like animated fighting super smash bros is my shit so if y'all can find me good videos some good information about bloop, bloop, or bloop, then send me them i'll react to them i love you know what i'm saying i'm a big fan of video games well, not really a big fan of video games. A big fan of specific games. So, yeah, man. Um, shout out to the, all the niggas that's making games. Shout out to all the niggas that's making games in the future. If you're wa making games and you're watching this, uh, you know what I'm saying? Link up with me. I can We can work, put a game out together, you know what I'm saying? Um, I can be a character in it, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We, we can do something, you know what I'm saying? Um... So yeah, man, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that. Till next time, YouTube, I'm out. To all of my niggas in here, we ain't doing the fight, send bullets through air. Hey, diamond shining very clear. Hey, she wanna fuck pulling her hair. 24-7, I'm grinding. I'm out here again, cheddar. Smoking on some of that good shit. Life can't be better. Life can't get worse, huh? I done seen that shit, huh? We done went through the worst, huh? You wouldn't even believe the shit. I was out here trapping at night. Times was bad, but we got right. Sunday morning, Dr. Light. Monday morning, night to bright. And all these fiends ain't hit my phone. I tell them, Connor, I'll be there right. And he don't even need the shit, cause he just almost lost his sight. Huh? But I'm on a bag and I need it. Straight cash, I'm fuck with no leases. I'm in Cali, I'm smoking on Keisha. We spice on his head like he leases. Pull up on the nigga, they leave him. Take over the land like a treason. Going all of this dope for a reason. It hurt me to see all my people. Some of them really down, really fucked up, really going through it. I dedicated my whole life just to make it off the fucking music. Pay attention to your nigga when he's speaking, cause he probably going through it. That nigga really might lose it. Stay in tune with your dude.